Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, I am Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to follow along on our adventures. Today is going to be a delicious video. Uh, the goal is to find the best euros in all of Rose. <laughs> watching this wondering what the heck is a euro it's basically a gyro g-y-r-o that's just not how it's actually pronounced it's essentially meat on a spit i think it's normally pork or chicken and they wrap it all up into a uh, pita so the first place we're going to try today is actually in a really touristic area but we heard good things about it and we read good reviews the best part is, is its name it's called euros pita i think so it's not a very original name but <laughs> hopefully it's good All right, so we've got our euros. I'm just gonna explain it a little bit to you. So we've got the pita on the outside. Uh, they only had pork here, so we each got pork. There is tzatziki in there, uh, some onions and some tomatoes. And I think there's usually French fries on there, but I don't know if there is on this one. We'll, we'll find out. It smells so good. <laughs> I honestly just had a really big bite of tzatziki, which is one of my favorite things, so. It was really delicious. I think I only got a tiny bit of pork, so I'm gonna have to take another bite. I will tell you, the um, pita is really much thinner than other ones we've had, so it's really, really crispy. It's, I like it, because it's not too much bread. Like, it just feels like a nice, crispy odor shell. Mm. That was all pork. Mm. That's delicious. Little bit of crispness. Um, a little bit of chewiness, but not too much at all. Uh, a little smokiness to it because it's done on that grill. Mmm, really good. Oh, you guys. This is where it's at. You gotta come to this place. This is Euro stop number one. We are off to a very good start, I have to say. The meat in this is just divine. It's cooked to perfection. It's a little bit tender, a little bit crispy, but the pita is what I noticed right away, like Anna said. It's really thin. I've never had a gyro with the pita so thin before, but then throw in all the other ingredients. You have the tzatziki, the tomatoes, everything is just so fresh. It makes for such a great sandwich. This is awesome. Guys, I just noticed there's a sign here that says Kaleidi since 1984. That's not actually what it says on Google Maps, so I'm not really sure what the name it really is. Um, but that was really, really delicious. Hopefully the next few, uh, two or three will be just as good. All right, that was delicious, but now it is another day and we're in a small little town, like 20 minutes outside of Rodos Town. Mm -hmm. Do you know the name? It's called Thalaraki, I think it is. Thalaraki. Mm -hmm. It's very small, it's very quaint, but we hear there's another really good spot here. All right, we are on to Pita number two. So um, this one, they actually had some options on like the last one. So there was pork, there was chicken, and I think there was a mix as well. But we decided for consistency's sake, we're gonna stick with the pork. Uh, they also came in small and large, and thankfully we went for the small, because it's really big. Yeah, guys, check this out. That's intense. They also have fries on this one on like the last one. Okay, let's go in for the bite. It looks really big and messy. Mm -hmm. Guys, it smells so good though. So first thing I noticed, the pita is totally different from the one from yesterday. This is a much more traditional one. Got a little bit of that fluffy red kind of consistency to it, whereas yesterday it was like really, really thin. And the pork's delicious. I don't know if you guys remember this or if you follow along, but I haven't eaten pork for that long, so I'm always a little bit nervous of it. But it's great. It's um, a little bit salty and not too chewy. I noticed uh, there's a new addition there somewhere. Yes, we got some french fries on here too. So I am starting a new tradition today. Every time there are fries on my Euro, I'm, I have to try a fry first from now on, so hold me to that if I don't do that going forward. I gotta test those fries. On point, all right. Anna has got me really excited for this, so let's go in. It's gonna be messy, guys. Oh my. 
Okay, first, if you guys have never had a Euro, come to Greece and have a Euro. These things are amazing. Now, this is the second day in a row we're eating. We probably shouldn't do that all the time, but man, it would be hard not to do that. This is so good. The pork on this is even more tender than the one uh, previously in the video, and the pita, like Anna said, is really thick. I like the addition of fries, though. I think that's what was missing off the first one, although there was uh, the first one had a, was just packed with flavor, but same idea. You have the onions, a little bit crispy. Uh, you got the tomatoes, really fresh, and that tzatziki is creamy. Overall, it's another solid Euro. I don't, I, all I can say are good things. So far, so good. We're doing great with this uh, Euro tour so far. The Euro tour continues. We are now in the beautiful town of Lindos. So today we'll be trying our third and final Euro. And if you're wondering, we are actually filming this over three days because uh -huh. we didn't want to eat all three in one day. <laughs> so this stop is in one of the busiest areas of all of Lindos. Uh, it seems to come highly recommended. I saw, found it in a few places as like the best place to get a Euro in, in Lindos. So hopefully it's as good as they say. All right, we have our third and final Euro. We opted to eat this one outside. We took it to go because it was a little busy inside and it's a beautiful day out, so why not? Uh, this one is um, uh, probably more similar to the last one than the first one. It's got like the thicker pita on it. It's got some French fries, although they look uh, smaller and thinner than on the last one. Otherwise, uh, it's got the tomatoes, it's got tzatziki, pork again, and uh, did I say tomatoes? It's got tomatoes. All the things. All the things. All right, let's go in for a bite. Ooh, I can hear that crunch. Looks gooey, smells delicious. Like I think every other time, I probably didn't get a big enough bite, but it's hard to bite into. Um, the meat on this one feels a little bit more chewier. It might be so far my least favorite meat, but I probably need to take a few more bites to actually confirm that. Uh, tzatziki's really yummy. Uh, tomatoes are really, really tomato-y. This is something I just really, I noticed the tomato flavor right away. Other than that, um, I wish we hadn't, it took us a little while to find a spot to film, so it's not as hot as I would like. And I don't know if it didn't come out uh, as hot as it was or it just took us too long to uh, get to it. All right, I'm doing the fry test again. <clears throat> mm. Fries are okay, really salty. I think I prefer the fries on the last one, but I'm just going straight in like Anna said. It does smell really, really good though. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. I do need another bite now because I couldn't get it all. Mmm. So what I noticed about this one right away is the pork. It's completely different than the other two euros that we had. Um, this is thicker. And I'd say it's the driest. And I, th I think I prefer it the least, like Anna said. But the other ingredients taste really, really fresh. The tzatziki on this one is a standout. Like Anna said, those tomatoes are just divine. Oh, grease in their tomatoes. Um, I like that there's fries in this. I think the first one we had did not have fries. But the first one might have been my favorite, I'm not sure. But I really like when the fries are on here. The potato just gives a, a nice extra added touch to it all. But overall, this is a good euro. I don't think we failed today with any of the three. <laughs> So, the real question is, do you have a favorite? I do, actually. I picked one. The first one. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. And I would actually say to the point of, like, if you're in Rodos Town, I would mm -hmm. go get it. It was so good. Yes. And you know what's yeah. kind of funny about that? I'm the one saying I prefer when there's french fries uh, on there, and that one didn't have it. So, maybe I, I need to re the, rethink that. Yeah, I think it was the most unique. Like, I feel like the people there actually made a concerted effort to like Very. make it the best Euro they could possibly make it. And they put probably a lot of time and effort into it. Whereas yes. the other ones, I mean, they were really good and they tasted delicious, but they were pretty generic. Like yeah. they were just your regular old Euro. So if you're coming to Rodos, I hope <clears throat> we gave you some ideas if you're uh, traveling around the parts that we did, because you can't go wrong with any of these Euros. That is for No, sure. they're delicious. Just the yeah. first one is a standout. So yeah. if you're new around here, I'm Trevor. This is Anna. We're the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, just a little bell, click that. Uh, give us a thumbs up because that really helps and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. 
And in the last video, we were exploring a Rhodos town. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, we loved it. Uh, and in the next video, since we're here in Lindos, we figured we might as well check the town out, right? And this place is absolutely magical. Just wait until the next video when we get finally get time to show you guys what this is all about. I'm so excited. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, from Lindos now, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. I'm on my way now